Hello everyone. This is Sin and Punishment on the Wii. This is a sequel to the original game that was on the N64. And it was a, a unfortunately quite an underrated game. It's a, a fantastic on the rail shooter on the Wii. And it really does deserve a, a look here. For those of you that might not have seen it or played it. We'll go with stage one and I'll play as the bloke. That's fine. I've not played this for a while, but I remember when it came out, I played it quite a lot, and I was really impressed with it. Who was that guy? What do we do now? Now we run like our lives depend on... I mean, you can already tell that graphically it's a very beautiful looking game. It really pushes the Wii to um, its limits in terms of presentation style. Right, how do I shoot? There we go. Alright, bear with me, it's been a while since I've played it. What's the shoot button? Is it not A? Okay, so B seems to swipe my thing. A is a sort of lock on and charge attack. Okay. But yeah, it's really great looking. I mean, you can see how there's so much going on in the foreground, and then you've also got simultaneously enemies appearing in the background as well. Uh, it's just kind of, yeah, really visually very impressive. As far as on the rail shooters go, this is um, definitely up there with one of my favourites. And that's on any console, not just on the Wii. Of course, the Wii did have quite a few nice ones. Um, like, you know, House of the Dead and uh, things like that. The Dead Space game as well. Oh, I see. So I press A to lock on and then B to shoot. There we go. That makes sense. So... Yes. Although, why am I not... Okay, so A is the charge attack and B is the little attacks. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? So the charge attack kind of obliterates everything on screen when you use it. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I mean, it's been a while since I've played it, so it just takes a little bit of getting used to it. But you basically have two attacks. Your lighter attack, which is this one. Um, and then your charged up attack, which you lock on and blast everybody with like that. I remember the um, the stages are really varied and there's lots of bosses to fight, which are obviously a lot of fun to play. I think the bosses in this game are incredibly uh, well designed and really graphically impressive. Right. Charge up. That's probably the best way to do it. Well, I'm taking a few hits. Yay, there we go. Life! So yeah, you can see you collect coins and things and you get score multipliers based on how well you do and how long you've been without taking damage, I think. Um, I think that's how it works. Right, lock on. Let's do a charge attack on that. Um, the game is very accessible, you know, it's not incredibly difficult, but I would say it's hard to master. The later stages have so many enemies on the screen and there's so much to think about and react to at the, at the same time. But it never feels cheap. And it, yeah, it's a game that the difficulty balance is really well set up. Um, you know, as you play it more, you'll get more skilled, you'll be able to cope with things. You'll get more used to the feel of the mechanics. And also you'll sort of memorise the patterns to the level, which you don't have to do, but it certainly helps when, you know, on later playthroughs you'll, you'll do a lot better than the earlier ones. But no, I just think it looks so visually impressive. A gigantic bird thing and things running on the ground. There's always so much happening, you know. All different things happening at once. It's another boss. As I, as I said, like most levels have at least a couple of different bosses. It really mixes things up and keeps it fun. Holy crap, there's a lot of bullets there to dodge. I wanted to lock on to him if possible. What's that? There we go. 
let's try a charge attack. And he's shielding himself again. There we are. The charge attacks are the way forward, it looks like. They do a great deal of damage and kind of clear things up pretty quickly. Um. Now, a lot of the skill in this game is, is not just in the shooting, but it's in the dodging. Certainly in the later bosses, you have to time your dodges really well. You have to pay attention to the bullets that are coming in from the background while also, you know, dodging missiles and enemies that are appearing in the foreground. And that's, you know, a really fun thing to do. <laughs> There's so much to pay attention to, it's not easy to talk and shoot at the same time. Especially if you're not particularly uh, skilled at these types of games like me. But I have been getting better. You know, playing the Mega Drive a lot, it got me really into shmups and things. And, uh, you know, I've been playing those, and those are games where the more you play them, the more skilled you become. And part of that, of course, is remembering how the levels work and the patterns of bullets. I haven't spent as much time with this game as I'd like to, really. Um, I did get to the last few stages and thought they were really amazing and they were quite challenging. I think I've, I beat the game on easy difficulty or something like that. Um, but it's a, yeah, I'd actually like to play this a bit more and get get really into it. There are, you know, the better you get at the levels, the more things you'll you'll find, or easier ways of defeating enemies. Now I remember this bit here. There are these sort of laser arms that you have to dodge, that swipe across the screen. Yeah, he says clearly not dodging it. it just really makes use of the kind of. 3D feeling of things with the foreground and background. It kind of just feels and looks as good as an arcade game to me. Except I'm not wasting loads of money. <laughs> I don't remember paying particularly a large amount for this either. I'm sure it was um, £15 or something from Amazon. I don't know how much it goes for these days, but I wouldn't have thought a great deal. Alright, we've got another sort of commander ship here to take down. Take that. Let's see if we can lock onto those down there and give a charge attack. There we are. Whoa, what is that? Oh, crap. I'm taking hits. I've not got a lot of health left. Holy shit. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Thank God I managed to dodge that somehow. I'm struggling a little bit though. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm a little bit rusty. Ah, oh, there we go. Looks like we just about survived that. And is that the end of the stage? I don't know. No, it's not. <laughs> God, I need some health pretty desperately. This is great, so you've got enemies coming into the foreground here using melee attacks on you. And you've got enemies using lasers, so I'm just going to have to try really carefully to dodge. Um, because I've got very little health. One of those hits will take me down. Yes, and it did. Bugger. So as you can see, it's very fast-paced and it's really challenging. But it's an ex excellent looking game and it's very addictive to play and very satisfying to get better at. I would highly recommend you check this out. Thanks guys, see you later.